Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. When you have two great rushing attacks like these two teams have, we're going to spend a lot of time focusing on the running backs. But the heart, the soul, the guts of these two teams, the big hog mollies, the big fellas, the fat guys, the sloppy guys, who also, by the way, are said to be the smartest guys on the team. The offensive line hold the key as to who can come out the winner in this one. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. Georgia Tech has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. From the seven. He's out to the 30. And down he goes at the 34. Virginia Tech staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I, I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. I, you know, I, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons. And I, and I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that. Now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game. The Hokies have a lot at stake here, including some possible record-breaking performances. Records and stats are great, but I think to a man, these players say, let's win the game first, and then any accolades we get along with it, that would be great. From their own 46-yard line, it's first down. With a quick throw. Hauls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. From the 31-yard line, first down. The halfback with a carry. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. He's on the run, and he can't get away from the pressure. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Third down, and they need to get it to the 21. Strike to the receiver. Tackle right around the 34. Man, the defense jumped all over that one. No chance to pick up the first down there. Williams awaits the snap. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. 
Like a couple of boxers in round one, these two teams are feeling each other out. Well, they had their opportunities here to make some plays to try to quiet this crowd, but they weren't able to do it. If things keep going this way, this stadium is going to get even louder. They'll bring him down at the 20-yard line. That makes it second and 10. Second and 10. Ball on the 20-yard line. The defense was just all over that play. It didn't fool anybody. That brings up third and 14. Strike to the fullback, incomplete off his hands. Boy, that hurts the offense to have to go three and out. They're going to have to think about how to get something going the next time they come out. Smith is the punter. Wesley fields it at the 50. He's taken down at the 38. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. And he hits him hard at the 30-yard line. That's a game on the play. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Gets out to about the 21-yard line. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run, and that creates chances in the play-action passing game. He'll get the call again. Brought down at the 21. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 21. And he just gets rid of it. by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Got a man. Watch out here. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. First down, defense try to prevent any more damage. First and goal inside the five. Let's see if they try to pound it in here. Both teams have their goal line sets on the field. Diving for extra yardage. And this play is number eight on the drive. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. We're at play number nine of this current drive. So at the end of one, 
This one's scoreless. We're all tied up, and more action coming, hopefully, here in quarter number two. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Defense stiffens there and gives it back to their offense. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. He laterals. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 29-yard line. It's second, second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Nice run to the left there. This is so difficult to defend. Well, this is a perfect illustration of how to run the option, and it was perfect enough to get the first right there. Decides to hold on to it, and that's going nowhere. That brings up second and nine. From their own 35 yard line, second down. He makes it to the 38 yard line. This guy's got the combination of smarts and reliability that makes a receiver really dangerous. No wonder he's looked to on third down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball in the 47. They make the stop at the 49. There might not be a more naturally gifted defender in the country. He made that play look easy. Once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Fumble, loose ball, and the defense is on it. They got the turnover. Uh, this is what it's all about. Defense taking advantage of an opportunity. They're pouncing on the loose ball. And the booth is going to take a few Previous looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. After, After review of the, the play, play, the ruling, ruling on the on field, field is reversed. reversed. So after some discussion, the call on the field is reversed. 
from the 31 yard line. It's first down. He laterals, and he's taken down at the 34 yard line. The offense knows that the linebackers are cheating up a little bit on the run. If they can get some protection, they might want to open up a little bit of space for some passes underneath. scrambling quarterback's gonna run it and he's got room to work and down he goes at the 19 yard line i'm telling you quarterbacks who can run the ball are so hard to stop you have to scheme around them which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook from the 19 yard line first down pitches it he's got the corner inside the 10 Tackle made at the one-yard line. And they were lucky that one didn't go for more. They looked like they've never defended the option before. The tailback had a ton of running room there. They're crowding the line. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. You know, Brad, these big boys, they block all game long. And they finally get a chance to get the football to the fullback. You'd think with his size and power, he'd be able to pick up at least a yard. But no. The defense not only stops him, they actually force him short of the line of scrimmage. From the two-yard line, second down. Touchdown, Tech. Really good vision here by the quarterback and a good understanding of where he was on the field. He didn't need much, and he knew he could get it himself. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So a 12-play, 72-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. Georgia Tech is ready to kick it away. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 30. Well, it's always fun to be part of a defensive battle, and that's certainly what we have right now. Yeah, give credit to both of these defenses. I mean, they, they're playing with a lot of energy, and I think they're doing a nice job up front at the line of scrimmage. And at this point, they're not giving this either of these offenses a chance to make a play. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And that one's incomplete. From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. Throws out to the running back, no good. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. He's tackled at about the 33-yard line. When you get in these third-down situations, a confident offense expects to get the yardage they need on the ground. It's a good job by the defense to shut that down. Jackson is back awaiting the punt. He's to the 40, and he's taken down at the 44. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Georgia Tech is up seven. Throws in the middle. Tackle at about the 43-yard line. Pretty good gain right there. You know, the thing that impresses me about this offense is their ability to spread the ball around. They're not afraid to go to their tight ends, their tailbacks, and in this case, their fullback. Nicely designed play. Wants to go long and does. Got his man. Touchdown. He makes the PAT. A quick two-play, 57-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. So the score now, 14-0. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. 
Glover from the six. He's got the corner. He's out to the 30. Across midfield. And they push him out right around the 44-yard line. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? As a defender, you want to keep your hands up. Maybe you can come away with a pick or at least deflect the ball. From the 44-yard line, it's second down. I guess he'll throw this one as far as he can and hope for a miracle. He airs it out. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. Third down. Chucks it downfield. And he's hit immediately. We've played a half of football here. The Yellow Jackets lead it by two touchdowns. David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. From the seven, he's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Well, this offense has found the end zone on their last two drives, and they're coming out on this one trying to do much of the same. Gets out to about the 25 yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. From their own 25 yard line. Second down. They'll bring him down right around the 20. The thing about the option is you're going to have some negative plays, but if you keep running it, it'll create some big play opportunities. Rifles it right side, and he can't make the catch. That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. Smith to punt. Brought down at the 48. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Thompson goes with a play fake. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. That's a great tackle at the 36-yard line. That's a deal of 12 on the play. That makes it first and 10. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 36. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. What we're seeing right now is just a great connection between the quarterback and his receivers. They make these plays look effortless. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 20. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Had protection, now scrambles. He's taken down at about the 19-yard line. That'll 
They're back in the red zone where the points have really been scarce lately. They'll make the sack. That makes four sacks today. Well, this speed is difficult to defend because you have to try to keep them off balance so they can't use their quickness. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Gets rid of it quickly. Quick throw, caught, touchdown. converts the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He'll take it from the two. He's to the 20. Gets to about the 24-yard line. So we're just about ready to return to action. Georgia Tech is up a score. Laterals back, and he's got space. Makes it out to about the 33. The running back takes the pitch on the option, and that'll be a pickup of about nine. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And now he pitches it. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. From their own 39-yard line. Second down. And they'll get him in the backfield. You keep gaining negative yards, and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. at midfield. He's brought down in the open field. From the 48-yard line, first down. Georgia Tech is up by a touchdown. He laterals the ball. Makes it to the 37. Pitch out. Got the corner. He gets hit out of bounds. At about the 35. It's second and seven. Ball on the 35. The Yellow Jackets running back down there on the sideline. He was injured earlier. He means a lot to this offense, but I think he's going to be able to come back in. Looks like he's ready to go. Here's the pitch, and now he's got the corner. That's a great stop by the All-American. This guy is such a great player, Brad. When we see this guy at the award show at the end of the year, we're going to have to give him an extra suitcase to bring home all of his awards. It's been a defensive masterpiece through three. Who'll draw up points in the final quarter? 14-7, Georgia Tech.
into the fourth quarter now. And we're back to the action. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he's taken down at the 29. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. And they get nice yardage on that run. And they convert for the first down. And Brad, the credit here needs to go to the offensive line. They did a great job of opening up a running lane for the back. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Georgia Tech up seven points. Grabs a pitch, looking for the corner. And he's tackled at the 17-yard line. That's good for a game of eight yards. So it's second down and about two yards to go. And they got him for a loss. The quarterback tried to do a little too much by himself. Hey, maybe next time he'll get it out to the back so he can do something with it. This is the 13th play of this drive. Scrambling around, looking for the corner. Knocked out of bounds at about the five yard line. First down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Touchdown, Tech. was so smoothly executed. He looked totally in control on that keeper. And he tacks on the extra point. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. North Texas doing battle in Denton. The Horned Frogs deliver the perfect connection and a touchdown. TCU has the edge. 7-0. In other games, Time to get you up to date on some scores from around the country. A 17-17 tie. Two touchdown ball game here, Reese 21-7. They line up to kick this one away. He's out to the 30. He's taken down at the 41. Georgia Tech's defense, they've got the it factor. The it factor, the swagger, whatever you want to call it. When they take the field, they know they're better than you. And as a group of 11, they play like they know they're going to stop you. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They move the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. Less than three minutes in the game. Passes, and it's almost picked off. Smart, heady play by that defender. That was solid, fundamental pass defense. From their own 41-yard line, second down. Screen pass. He's got his half back. And down he goes at the 43-yard line. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. Pass is caught. The defense lays him out. Jacobson brings him down on the 37-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Three 
Quick strike, and he drops it. Jackson is the intended receiver on the ball. That makes this a good three. They come out in an empty backfield. The cavalry's coming. He's tackled at the 32. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. tackled in the open field. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. Man left, man left. From the 10-yard line, it's first down. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Quick strike to the receiver, touchdown. He makes the PAT. tackled at the 44. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over at our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying it with the big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. around the 42-yard line. He plows ahead for a two-yard gain. They're lucky he was able to hang on to the football. He took a pretty good shot. From the 42-yard line, it's second down. Nice run, and he's brought down. So he picks up about five on the option to the halfback. Virginia Tech will have one timeout remaining. made at the 26-yard line. The thing is, once he gets going, he's really tough to stop. It's almost all physical momentum. Right there, it carried him to a solid game. From the 26-yard line, first down. Favorite play in football of your quarterback. Take a knee. Under a minute left in the game. And they make the stop at the 29-yard line. Seems like every game, this guy's in the offense's backfield, bringing guys down for a loss. He's just got a knack for making plays. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. So that's going to do it. The Yellow Jackets take this one, 21-14. So what are your final thoughts on this one, Kirk? I'm sad to see this one in because it was a great game to watch. Virginia Tech played a good game out there, but they needed to make one or two more big plays, and they couldn't do it. Who knows? Another couple of minutes, and this one may have gone the other way. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.